Derek Jones, town attorney, and Lisa Mullaney, court treasurer. Let's stand and do the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Minutes for June 5th, 2016, regular session. <coughs> July. July. I apologize. <laughs> July 5th. This year is going way too fast. Anybody <laughs> <laughs> see any issues? Corrections? Mm -hmm. uh, any motion? I move to accept the minutes for July 5th. Second. Got a motion and a second to accept the minutes for July 5th, 2017. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Citizens input. Well, one short thing. Um, Lisa was kind enough to call me the other day and tell me my house was flooding with water. <laughs> we didn't know it. And it ran up a heck of a bill before we found it, thanks to her. I don't know when we would have found it, but we've had a heck of a water bill. And at least in years past, you have understood that and cut that bill back to the normal bill since it was a leak that we didn't know anything about. But they said we had to get permission from you all to do that. I've already paid the bill. If decide to do that, they'll just take it off the next bunch of bill. What, what kind of amount? Oh, we went from a, about a $19 water bill to a $370 water bill. What was the leak? What was well, the it was a upstairs toilet, and nobody was running, and nobody was nobody's up there anymore. Hardly ever. I store things up there. Once in a great while, I go up there. But that you was, both have hearing problems, and. Is that just the water or water or sewer both? No, it's just water. Well, it's just the water. That's the, that's bad. They, they cut the water, the sewage back down where it was not. Mm -hmm. That's a heck of a water bill. Oh, yeah. And every summer you give water losses for the lines, so I don't see any difference here. I know if it would have been a break, I mean, we've always, we've always given the sewer credit usually on something like that, even though it did go down the sewer. Like a lot of times water breaks and we go into the basements and they fall it out. Um, I hate to say yes, and then everybody, Joe Blow and her brother, come in next week and say, oh, I did this and did that, and they didn't. They just used the water, used it as an excuse. That's not a very good excuse. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't. But it's, again, you know, th there's it's no not, way we would have it's, it's out of the normal. Yeah, way out. Way out of normal. I got the bill from two months ago that shows our water bill was $18.47. This one is $369.33. And our, uh, our last three total town bills, last month was $141.56. The month before that, it was $155.72. The month before that, it was $154.64. This month, it was $588.66. A little bit of sticker shock. <coughs> If they could have changed the dinners, we'd be sending a press event. So they don't give you a shot. Is the problem fixed? Yeah. Fix it? We won't. Yeah. Water, water, water is turned off up there for now. Until we get a, a new stool and install it. Well, that's not
one time deal. Each thing is, is we, we, we've done, we did things with lights, we've done things with uh, water, we've done things with sewer. Before the end of the meeting, how's that good? Well, we're going to go ahead and be if you just have uh, you know, leads so, over. Oh, we'll stop by. Okay. It's already paid. I know. It's paid. Save the late fee that way, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's yeah, we, paid we, yeah, we didn't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. Let me know. Okay, we will. I can holler at you over the phone, but I can't in here anyway. <laughs> yeah. What, what other thing? Like we, appreciate it. <laughs> what other thing before we leave, and we do have to leave. How is this thing with Jerry Chavez doing? Is this why I'm all done? I didn't even see him come in. <laughs> there he is. I don't know what your question is. Have you got your, have you yeah, got your deal are, down here at the planning you, session for the down? Yeah, you know, if you want to call me after this, I'd be happy to discuss what you're doing. Oh. Yeah. I don't know Maybe other people would be interested in that part. Well, he, that's why he's here tonight. Oh, that's why you're here tonight. Okay. All right. I'll let you talk then. I'll try <laughs> Jamie, did you want to say something? Uh, just on that water leak, we've had other uh, commercial accounts and things like that have had some big water leaks and haven't, haven't cut them or break. You know, depending on what it is, we might knock off the sewer, like you said, but a lot of times the water, we won't give credit for it. Okay. We'll let you know. Okay. You ready? Um, let's see what he's got to say. He's got to say something about this, too. Any more citizens input? I, I one thing real quick. Okay. I'll try to make it quick. <laughs> From what I understand, and I, I apologize, it wasn't at the last meeting, but there was some <clears throat> discussion about uh, the council and, and the murals and things downtown. I mean, and some things that the town wasn't doing for, for certain things. I just, I mean, I just want it to be known that my own personal opinion, I mean, I own my home. I take care of my home. I don't expect the town to come in and, and remodel my home, refurbish my home, to make it worth more so that I can sell it or gain more money off of that. I mean, I don't think that it's the responsibility of myself or any other taxpayer in this room to to pay for upgrades and things for somebody else's business. I mean, our building, whether it be their home or a, a building that they're using for business purposes. With that being said, I mean, there are obviously other ways to to go about that I mean with the, the grants that are out there for that type of thing I just don't think that if the council were to continue to do that 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 is a good idea either um, because I mean that that's the money that's tax money that each and every one of us in here that owns property pays to to enhance or upgrade somebody else's property I just don't I don't think that's the the responsibility nor should it be the purpose or something that tax dollars is used for but that's my opinion. Well, thank you. Any other citizens input? And her old business attorney report. The only thing I had to talk about was the 405 South Michigan Street, but actually I think Chuck, wherever he got off to. Oh, yeah. oh, I couldn't find him either. <laughs> I think Chuck may do more talking than me, so. I uh, apologize for not having something in print for you. Um, had difficulty downloading my pictures and getting the files together, and IT said that they would work on it tomorrow. So, um, what I've looked at, um, and I'll just kind of give you a quick. These are trees growing up in the back. You can see the trees growing through the tires now. Tree that size didn't start growing through the tires, you know. The fence is dilapidated. Um, there are probably 15 to 20 holes in the roof. You see the de uh, deterioration of the chimney. Um, it's starting up there, the cap's all off, it's splitting down through there. Um, the holes through the uh, rubber EDPM. Uh, you can see where the water is going in, um, holes 
just about on all sides. Um, splits, I mean, water just runs down in there. And when you get to the sides um, of it, you see where the paint is coming off. The water is coming down inside the building. It's trying to escape through the concrete blocks and the walls. That's what's causing the paint to peel off and, and swallow there. We're unable to get into the inside of it, so cannot make a determination how stable that roof is. I know that I would not walk on it. Um, seeing the condition of it, I didn't try all of the pictures and everything was taken from the bucket truck. Um, I think, uh, you know, we don't have any power going into that building right now. Um, and no means of getting it there at this point because the wires have been taken down, the can is down and everything else. Um, I feel that, it, that we should send them a letter. Um, asking to meet them there to examine the rest of the structure and at the very minimum we need to ask them to bring that up into uh, compliance as far as safe building and uh, safe around the outside of the building you know it right now it doesn't appear to be in as bad a shape as the building that uh, you know was torn down but going inside it could be even worse because this building has more wood in it, more wood structure than the other. It had more steel in it because this was an older building. So what building are you talking about? 405 South Michigan Street. The only gas station is south of the park. <clears throat> you know, there is poison ivy around there. Um, really bad. Some of it's been taken down but it's it's growing back, it's all on the building, it's in the building. Um, I feel that we need to start moving forward. Trying to get inside would be the next step, but minimum we need to have them bring it up into compliance for safety and security at this point. Any questions? I'm sorry. Are you thinking a letter from me, Chuck? Are you thinking a letter from your office? I think um, I will send you a letter and then you should send them one as a town attorney. But right now you're really wanting to meet with them to just see structurally, internally, what you're dealing with. Yeah. I mean, that would give us the whole picture, but right now, you know, you can tear it down and they wouldn't be losing much. But until you get inside, you can't really right. tell. There's probably... Fifteen to twenty-five thousand dollars worth of work, minimum, just to put a new roof on. Uh, that that's if the subsurface is in decent shape, but it doesn't appear to be. So, the value of the building uh, probably is going to be outweighed by the cost it's going to take to bring it back into compliance. Sooner or later, is not going to be safe either. Do you know the address? They're across the street from us, that church. I don't know. Do you, George, you do probably. Is it three something? Yeah. Well, we're 300, so it's right straight from the street. Thank you, Charles. I move that we have Derek submit a letter to the property owner that, and set up a to get it so that we can get it set up with somebody from the council and Chuck or Jamie and Chuck or whoever. But if I put that together, Chuck, look, you take a look at it first before I send it out. Obviously, copy you on the letter as well because really it's going to be you or them coordinating with you, yeah. not me. Um, but I'm happy to draft that. I think it is. For some reason, when it comes from the lawyer, it gets a little. <laughs> 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 catches people's attention. Yeah, catches their attention. They only do it. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. motion. Yeah. Got a motion and a second to have Chuck send Derek a letter and then Derek send out a letter to the uh, building owner to get them to meet with Chuck so we can figure out if they can come into compliance. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. I don't have any more before. I move to accept the attorney report. A second. I motion to second to accept the attorney report. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. <coughs> First, um, I get a letter of resignation here. It's from Robert McKay. Dear Town Board and community, due to life's many changes, I must submit this letter of resignation. My wife and I have sold our house and are relocating to a different state, with our move date being 21 July 2017, as of 11.59 p.m. on July 3rd, 2017. I resigned from the Argus Fire Department, effective 11.59 p.m. on July 6th, 2017. Please accept my resignation from the BZA. Finally, at 11.59 p.m. on July 13, 2017, please also accept my resignation from Argus EMS. It has been with great pleasure to serve this community. Good luck with your endeavors in moving this town forward. Regretfully, Robert Lecaire. So, thanks, Bob. Yeah, thank you. Perfect. Thank you been involved with or this in the community, we appreciate it. It's a pleasure. Most On certain days. <laughs> then I got a letter. So that leaves a BZA Then Then I got a letter from Bill Scott wishing to resign his position on the Planning Commission and transfer to the open position on the BZA. So I feel my 20 plus years of service at the Plymouth BZA could put my experience to better use. Whose appointment is this? <laughs> Mine? You appointed him. Yep, I did. Well, there's so many appointments that I get and then the whole council gets. So I will accept his appointment. So that leaves Planning Commission open. So yeah, we have one open on the Planning Commission. Mm -hmm. We have Marshall County Tourism. I did have somebody I've been talking to about that. They're about this close to saying yes. About the tourism? <laughs> yes. Should keep badgering. <laughs> Anybody's interested, submit a letter, your letter of interest to Lisa, the clerk's office. Next on the agenda is comp plan match with nonprofit. So I got a message from Mr. Chris Van Dyne, and he stated that he's backing out and he don't want to do it. So we're not going to be doing the, um, unless we decide to do it. He's not going to be involved in any of that. Is he? Going forward with the grant. Yeah, well, we, we voted on that and he didn't say nothing about that. So, so do we know where that stands? I can email him and find out. Because I'm concerned about that. I don't, we don't know what he's committing to town. Right. <clears throat> I'll email him and find out. Yes. And typically that's a USDA grant, Suzanne? I believe so. And before there's any award or anything like that, they sit down with you, and so right. there'd be some interaction with the town, so you would know what problems, but in the document itself, so you have that opportunity. Yeah, it's not can. something that you blindly accept without some process. But that's where we stand with the, the kind of plan match. So if we decide to move forward with uh, with doing this to the town, we'll have to talk about it and get with Randy, and because Randy's still in charge of kind of that, because we're in charge of that. So, 
do everything you want to say about it. Any other old business? We're going to move on to new business. Dated July 18, 2017, to myself and the Argus Town Council. <coughs> Dear Dustin, it has been my sincere pleasure to serve the Argus community as your utility superintendent. I have learned and grown as an individual these past few years. However, since my accident on November 3rd, 2016, I have had trouble performing my duties. I have struggled to make it work. I am unable to perform even the smallest tasks. Therefore, I must resign my position with the town of Argus. I will be leaving my position as of July 18th. I regret any inconvenience this may cause the town, but I must consider my health and well-being. I feel the town utilities are in good hands with Jamie Lindstrom at the helm. I wish you all continued success. Thank you for your confidence in my position with the town and your support for me personally. Respectfully yours, Jim Rose, Utility Superintendent, Town of Argus. So, there's that part. I move that we appoint Jamie Lindstrom as Interim Utility Superintendent. I'll second that. We've got a motion and a second to appoint Jamie Lindstrom as Interim Utility Superintendent, any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. On old business, just Gary. Yeah, can he's sitting back here shaking his head. <laughs> yeah, can we take uh, care of Yeah, here. yeah, if you want to do old business, yeah. yeah. So, there's a question to ask about uh, where we're at with, uh, and I don't know if specifically the reference was the uh, building or not, but I'm assuming that that's where some, uh, some <coughs> updates were going to be requested. I'll just go ahead cover the bases with some information. <clears throat> From the perspective of the building itself, the appraisal has been ordered, should have been uh, completed yesterday, which means the bank is probably looking it over to make sure the numbers are right. The appraisal is part of the loan documents. The building has to, the proposal Construction has to appraise at the dollar amount for the loan. So I should be able to have that. I think I'm not, I'm not expecting any surprises. But we have to go through that process. Um, other processes that we have to go through uh, from the, uh, once the loan is secured, and we feel confident that if we're going to get there, at least high confidence level of confidence, um, the IEDC should follow in suit with their documentation they reviewed. Just as of today, they ask a couple more questions, which is part of the process. Uh, but everybody that's involved from a money perspective has your set of uh, internal processes and review. So that's where we're at right now. IEDC hasn't checked off on it. Preliminary RDA has. IEDC needs to. IEDC is a state fund. Uh, so once they do that, then there's a contract that follows along with that as well. We've given them all the information as of shortly after we gave, um, after the documents were signed. So there are probably a, uh, maybe 10 or 12 uh, regional cities applications that are being reviewed. So it's part of the process, take a number and we'll get to it. Um, with respect to the internal process or the development itself, I think everybody uh, understands that there was um, 
our engineers were out on site with the drone taking one foot increments, what we call them topos. We need that so they can start to look at placement of the building levels and whatnot. Um, that's one step in the process. The next step as well is uh, with regards to the plat or actual the 15 acres. Um, part of that uh, one foot increments does drive the plat. We will have to go through a plat process, which means the uh, planning uh, commission has to review it. Marshall County Planning Commission has to review that as well. They'll have to come back to uh, council to adopt, and then it's a legal document. Uh, that is part of what uh, the bank will require. We may be able to get them not to uh, with the assignment of the 30 acres, 50 acres, 50 acres, I can't remember what the, uh, that track of land that was uh, deeded over to MCDC prior, they may be able to accept that as a delay too much on the plan. So we will wait to find out what the rules are with uh, that particular engagement. We've sat down with uh, both uh, Jamie and Jim from an engineering perspective to look at where the existing lines are at, water and sewer sizes, uh, understand the, el the elevations, had a brief discussion somewhat from a planning perspective, what, what we want to accomplish in this development relative to lift stations and these sort of things. I think through that process, we determined that we'll probably extend the utilities a little bit further than the building itself, just for a uh, what I call future development perspective. Um, what building is this? The new one. The new one. The new one. Okay. Uh, just south of the old Ritz craft building. Across the street. Well, have, you, have you got people to occupy? Can I finish my presentation yes. and then can I ask, ask any questions? Sorry. Yeah. So with regards to um, uh, the architect has done his part, the engineer will have to come in once they look at the soils and look at the one foot increments, they'll have to go in and start engineering the site. So there'll be planning documents or construction documents that the uh, uh, that Chuck and uh, Ralph will have to look at and sign off after the state does a portion of the, of the checks and balances of it as well. So it's in the process. Just to give you a sense, on the Plymouth project, it was when the contracts were signed, everybody's in agreement, it was September. They started pushing dirt in, I would say, shortly after I came, about May and June. I hope to beat that benchmark or that timeline probably by, by quite a bit. My goal is to start pushing dirt as quickly as you can. I'd be comfortable in saying, hopefully by the end of August, beginning of September, we're doing that with a deliverable on a shell building by December. That's why I give instructions to uh, boot that. Handling my uh, helping, handling the project process as a uh, general contractor, engineering and architect. So, should give you a good sense of where we're at. Yeah. Um, but it's a process, and we have to go through the process. It's not something you can design in a matter of a couple of weeks. All right, thank you. Have you got anybody to occupy this building yet? Actually, I will, as soon as this meeting's over, I'll discuss it with you if you want. We can discuss what's going on with that since you haven't been here. I know, but we've got an intersection out here that they don't even know how they're going to take care of the traffic with the buildings that are out there right. when this road goes through. So I would surely hope that the town would not do what they've done in Plymouth and lose $8 million on a building no. because they couldn't get rid of it. And one of the reasons they couldn't get rid of it is for the same thing we're talking about now. 
Chuck Let's Arthur. not go through yeah. that. No, we're not. Let's go. All right. You can call me Chuck. And, and for the record, it was in English. Huh? It was in English. I know. It was on record. All right. Well, thank you for your work. You know, um, I think it's safe to say uh, we're pushing as quickly as we can. The timing didn't work in our favor. Um, uh, Dustin, it'd be nicer to have this thing uh, at a point where contract was signed in December. We're in the heat of a, a very uh, fast paced construction period. We're actually in the middle of it. A lot of, we're competing with a lot of uh, professional services and projects that are, are uh, being built today. So uh, the good thing is, I think the majority of builders understands and is uh, trying to help us as much as possible. So we have an ally, uh, a friend, uh, if you will. Uh, in fact, they have pushed, just to give you a sense, just to bring that point home a little bit clearer. Majority Builders pushed off a lot of work. They didn't take a lot of work. They still kept this project in the pipeline for us. And they did this primarily because of, of, of A, they want to help Marshall County, the town of Marcus. Remember, <clears throat> Rick Slagle was born in this community, so, so we got a friend trying to give us as much help as he can. Sure, he wants to get paid, and we want to pay him, but we want him to do a good job for us. Thank you, Derek. Yeah. Now we're going to go to paving. We got a proposal from EMB Paving. And we're going to pave. Ten Street. These are all the streets that are in the community crossroads grant. So we have a <coughs> chance to get 75% of this money back. That's what, and that's kind of my question. How did we get this bit? We applied for the community crossings grant through NDOT, and we had to have an estimate on what the cost of the paving would be. Um, okay. So EMB was nice enough to come down and actually give us an estimate. Proposal. Our proposal. <laughs> okay. So this gives us a, a ballpark right, range ballpark, of what we're yes. looking at doing. How soon do we need? I'm afraid this probably falls outside of the small purchases statutes and gives us into the public works projects, we which just means. Have, what, three days? I, I'm going to say it off the top of my head, yeah. it needs to be published and what have you. So we were um, planning on doing this this year. We have the money. <coughs> which is if, if the Community Crossings grant comes in for us, they will reimburse 75% of the cost of it back. And if it doesn't? If it doesn't, we have the money to pay for it. And we will? And we will. We, we have set many aside to do this. So what I, Jim had this in the works and Jamie had this in the works for 
doing these streets this year, right? I haven't been too much involved in this. Jim and Doug were pretty much handling the paving, so Doug's in Italy. I'm kind of catching up. So we we put in our community crossings grant that we were going to do this anyway. Um, that we were asking for reimbursement for this. So what I need from you is, or what we need to do is move forward. Um, we're getting into the last of the paving seasons. So we would need to put this out for bid as soon as possible to, in order to get it done this year. In other words, how to bid it. How do we need yep. to do this to get rolled? Mm -hmm. But this is a ballpark figure of what we're kind of looking at. And am I correct that if we don't get it done this year, if we get the crossings grant, we can still do it next year with that? Yes, but we did not budget that money. So. <laughs> Right, but we, we, have, we, we can, yeah, if we, we will know by October whether we get this money or not, so we can actually encumber the money. Okay. As long as we have them on the hook for like at least by April of next year, I believe it is. So, I'm just. Okay. Um. I normally get in trouble when I do this real quick, but it looks like it does fall outside that small purchasing statutes. Um, so yeah, I want to take a look at that. Um, but it may well be we have to comply with public works bidding, um, which I think is really just no more than advertising that and publishing the bid specs. And it looks like we probably have a good job of uh, being able to put that together. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a look and get it published. We'll get is that something that you're wanting if, to? Yes, I'll, I'll make a motion to go ahead and have you start the process. And if, is that what we have to do to give Lisa permission to go ahead and do the motion? She doesn't have to wait till the next meeting. Whatever it takes to get it done. Yeah. Okay. Second. Yeah, motion is second to start the process. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Is that all you need? That's all I need from you guys. That's what I'm asking. <laughs> Yeah, I got one. No, they all got it. I got to go that way. 
kann auch keinen Sachen. <lacht> what, did, what did we figure out on the spreader, Mark? It's, um, it's hard to find the parts that this tip spread I need. 27 years old. On the it's not 30 years old. <laughs> 27. Oh, yeah. Um, I was look at purchasing the spreader tonight as well through the fire billing. But I'm going to try to do one at a time. That's all right. Well, our spreader's broke, right? Yes. I moved a lot of the fire department to go ahead and buy the new spreader and a new tiller We have the money in the, from the billing. That's where all of our billing has to go into equipment. That's the only thing it can be spent on. So mm -hmm. It's the there. Tiller will come out of this year's budget. Second. And a second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Got your report? Huh? <laughs> yes, yeah, that's your report. All right. I would just like to say, though, and as the just a festival board member, that uh, thanks for the the donation you guys give us the, to put on that festival. Um, I think the town appreciated it and it was a lot of work, but next year it's going to be bigger and better. Gosh, you guys, it's not possible to do, so I, I know Mark's going to come do a presentation at some point, but for me, i just like to say thank you. Thanks for being on the committee and putting it together. Everybody was There's about five of us that were there all the time. I'm going to say, for yes. all of the people who was on that committee. It was awesome. I mean, for anybody that was there before the fireworks or wasn't there before the fireworks, if you can see all the vendors, I mean, all the vendors said what they want back next year. I mean, they're all tickled. They did good and had a great time. Um, I think we turned the corner this year. So we did. I mean, first year was a little struggle. And this year, still, some things were, we struggled with, but um, next year is going to be bigger and better. It's one of the living and learning. So. I have no clue what we're doing, what you're doing, you know, so it's great. And thanks for sure you guys. Thanks for <laughs> Thank you for your work. Yes. And then real quick, and I, I told you guys last last night, I didn't think I was going to be here tonight, but on behalf of the park board, the question was raised about the flagpole and the, the water fountain. I just so everybody knows we're all on the same page. The water fountain is fine. Is will and can be removed and the flagpole can be erected where the water fountain is. All right. Did you guys pick out a pole or no? You didn't just, whatever we decided to, okay. Yep, that's fine. Right. Motion. Do we need a motion to proceed with the flagpole? Yeah, who wants to who wants to get the price to buy it? I know the guys will put it up, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, we said we weren't going to give any more projects this year, didn't we? Yeah, Maybe we'll find out who wants to. Jimmy can do it. Lisa can do it. I mean, Jim. Yeah, she can install a bike pole. Oh, yeah. She can get the price. Oh, nice. You want to get prices? Get right on that. You get the prices. Right? You want to get prices? I can get prices, but how let's let's proceed with that. Get prices and okay. get it going. Memorial to back that flag to back on. Mm -hmm. All right, the motion to accept the department head. I move we accept the department head reports. Second. The motion is second to accept the department head reports. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Planes 517 through 585. <laughs> you did it, Derek. You did. I thought. <laughs> it was a very small docket, George. <laughs> it was. I should have held up and paid it on the first one and next month, and you wouldn't have made the top five. Um, okay, so the total docket for uh, July 21st is $96,598.80. 
The top five claims are as follows. Number one is payroll, number 14 for $34,569.78. Number two is Kohler Construction for $9,309.39. Number three is Federal Withholding Taxes at $7,396.04. Number four is Jones Huff Jones and Richard Richardson at $6,940. <laughs> Um, number five is Indiana Department of Revenue Withholding Tax at $6,396.47. And the top five claims represent 67% of the total docket at $64,611.68. And I tried to buy you cheese fries last night. I know you did. <laughs> And you passed, so. Well, I didn't realize you were going to have that much in the dock. <laughs> <laughs> the check hasn't cleared yet. Yeah, exactly. Cheese <laughs> fries. Number five is Kohler Construction Uh, weed killer. Oh, oh, yeah. Cremetol. Cremetol and fairway. It's the fairway. I think is for the park, and the other was for the electric. Is that Billy Bad stuff you don't like? I don't. <laughs> I don't need that. If it was up to me, I would not vote for that. <laughs> Claims for 799 through 858. Second. Got a motion is a second to accept claims number 799 through 858. <coughs> <laughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Yes. What do we want to do about that water bill? We're not responsible for the inside of other people's homes, the choices they make. That's my feeling. It's sad that it happened, but I don't think it's our responsibility. I don't think we've ever, we've always waved a sewer bill, like I said, if somebody's pipe breaks in the basement and floods the basement, we've waved a sewer bill, but we've never waved a water bill that I can remember. So, and usually we don't do the sewer if it's a toilet or something where it's going off to the plane either, so. I mean, I agree too, because I mean, he took in the his house, it wasn't outside, it he wasn't used at the edge of his house, it was upstairs in his house. If his air conditioner stuck on and ran for 30 days straight and he wasn't home, I mean, he still used the electricity. I mean, right. I move to leave this leave the bill the way it is. Second. The motion is second to leave this bill the way it is. And he was discounted on the sewer, right? Mm -hmm. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Just so everybody knows, I bought, um, and we bought it out of the flowers, um, a new hose and end for the community garden because the other hose, you couldn't walk a foot with it without it kinking in five different places. <laughs> and it developed a hole in it. And my wife's over there with black electrical tape trying to tape it up. So. <laughs> 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 That's <laughs> she has some of that. I told her no. I mean, you can build a boat out of that. Yeah. 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 See uh, the dispersion. The motion is adjourned. Second. The motion is adjourned. All in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you, Lord.